Shortness of breath, medically known as dyspnea, can be a symptom of various health conditions including lung cancer, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. But before we proceed, it's important to note that experiencing shortness of breath does not automatically imply the presence of lung cancer. This symptom is relatively common and can be associated with a range of issues from benign to severe, including respiratory infections, COPD, asthma, heart conditions, and indeed, lung cancer. In the context of lung cancer, shortness of breath typically arises from either the cancer itself obstructing part of the airway, or from fluid buildup around the lungs, which can be a direct effect of tumors in the lung or pleura. Lung cancer can cause a blockage in the airway or compress the lung, making it difficult for it to fully expand during inhalation. This can lead to a feeling of being unable to catch your breath or to take a deep breath. Additionally, lung cancer might affect the ability of the lungs to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide efficiently, contributing to the sensation of shortness of breath. It is also noteworthy that shortness of breath associated with lung cancer might not occur in isolation. Other symptoms often accompany it, such as persistent coughing which might produce blood, chest pain, unexplained weight loss, and fatigue. The presence of these additional symptoms alongside shortness of breath can sometimes help healthcare providers in making a more accurate diagnosis. The diagnosis of lung cancer is complex and involves a thorough evaluation, including medical history, physical examinations, imaging studies like x-rays and CT scans, and possibly biopsies of lung tissue. If someone experiences persistent or worsening shortness of breath, especially with other symptoms of lung cancer, it is crucial to seek medical attention promptly. Early detection and treatment of lung cancer can significantly improve outcomes. Furthermore, it is essential to consider risk factors for lung cancer when evaluating the significance of shortness of breath. Key risk factors include a history of smoking, exposure to secondhand smoke, exposure to radon gas or asbestos, and a family history of lung cancer. Individuals with a high risk of lung cancer should be particularly vigilant about monitoring for symptoms like shortness of breath and seek regular medical checkups. But as previously mentioned, while shortness of breath can be a symptom of lung cancer, it is also associated with many other conditions, some of which are not serious. Its presence, particularly when combined with other symptoms and risk factors for lung cancer, warrants medical evaluation to determine the underlying cause. It's crucial for individuals to pay attention to their bodies and seek medical advice when experiencing new or worsening symptoms, as early detection plays a significant role in the management and outcome of conditions like lung cancer. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.